Hello and welcome to SME TV, five tips in five minutes. We bring experts into the studio and get them to share their expertise in five tips, but in five minutes. Joining me today is Aria Sternberg from Kudo, which is a multilingual meetings reinvented platform. It's actually a language as a service platform. Welcome, Aria. Uh, thank you. Great to be here. Now, it's hot on a time frame, five tips, five minutes. Yours are all about tips for a virtual business meeting. Yes. Let's get stuck straight into it. Tip one, record your meetings for future review. Absolutely. Why? Multiple reasons. First of all, for me, being a marketer, uh, being able to take that content, use it for the future, pull out information, pull out snippets, you may be able to repurpose that. Uh, number two, instead of wasting your time taking notes and writing things down, you can actually be present. Look at people in the eye and, uh, you know, activate that Focus and, in the place. and be engaged, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's nothing like looking at someone for them to know that you're talking directly to them, right? That's it. Tip two, see how you look from the other viewers or viewer perspective. That's right. So, <laughs> Why do people struggle with that? Uh, when, you, when you're in a meeting, you go in and you know what's happening. If you're sitting there in front of your computer, oftentimes we forget that uh, you, know, you are professionally being present. And so a couple of things. You mentioned before looking and making eye contact. Let the people know that you're there. Let the people know you're paying attention to them. You're not working on another screen doing something else. And most importantly, turn your camera on. Uh, it's really disrespectful to not show the other people that you're actually you know, paying attention to them. What about people that turn cameras on and off during a meeting? Clearly something's going on. That's like, what you think, you know, right? Yeah, you know, or they're, they're standing up, getting a drink of coffee, coming back, whatever it might be, but yeah. Something's going on, That's so it. be respectful. Tip three. Make sure you can easily share documents for people to see or download. So that's prepare ahead, right? Prepare ahead. Uh, you know, we're living in a paperless world. You walk into a meeting room. You don't have a place to share. You have to go on your phone, find a document, flick it to someone. Uh, the fact that we can be sitting there and in most of the chat platforms, there is a way to either share documents um, or send them in Slack, send them in uh, Teams, whatever it might be. Um, but it allows for that instantaneous uh, not losing the cadence of what's happening in the meeting. So it's amazing how many people um, don't take the same view of preparing for an, a, a hybrid meeting or a, a, something that does involve a tech platform in some way like they would for a person-in-person face-to-face meeting. Because you prepare for that, right? You're going into the meeting, you've got everything you need, you take your laptop, but we don't seem to have that same view of when we're on camera with the, with the meeting. No, and, and in video conferencing also, we don't have that time for um, getting from place to place. So we just assume that we're going to be ready. And, you know, don't assume. You make an ass out of a... You and me. Yep. Okay, tip four. Collaborating virtually using tools like Miro or Miro. Yep, absolutely. So it's not just about sitting in a room. If you do any sort of brainstorming, you've done an activity like that you're using post-it notes, you're doing something on the board. You're writing. Be you're writing. Being able to pull people together into individual rooms or break out into other rooms and having those kinds of tools where you can collaborate uh, is, is indispensable when you're trying to come up with ideas. And the output you can bring together, which is an almost finished format because you're working digitally in the same space, uh, is massive compared to, you know, collecting the post-it notes and something having to digitize all of that. So it's, it's just a huge benefit. So we're saying that with video conferencing, there are other tools that you can use. They're right there on your laptop or your, or your computer, whichever you are, and they're in the cloud, but they're easily accessible. Absolutely. And to think outside the box, so to speak, of what's happening during the meeting and, you know, that, that's the whole point. You're not face-to-face, -face, but you can still have the same impact and direction of the meeting as if you were. Yeah. It's not just about PowerPoint. It's <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. And tip five, which I think might be sort of under the umbrella of kudo, be able to engage in real time with anyone anywhere in the world in any language. That's right. It's so, a great last tip, but it's connected to kudo. So tell us about that. Sure thing. I mean, when you can, instead of having to fly to another country, get into a you know taxi, go to a hotel, check in, and then wait until the next day for your meeting. And, and pack. And pack. And the cost of investing in all of that you can go into your typical video conferencing app, turn on the meeting, your uh, meeting partner will be there, select the language you want to listen in. If it's in English, they'll select the language they're in, and you can have a real-time conversation together without having to leave the 
comforts of your desk or your bedroom or wherever it is you may be using your computer. For the video conferencing. Okay, in, in terms of kudo, the reality is, though, that I can set up a meeting with anyone anywhere in the world in any language that I might need. That's it. And that could be I might have five meetings in one week in five different languages. Absolutely. With me speaking English as the primary language and it being translated or interpreted into any other language that the person I'm dealing with in their country in my time frame. That's right. Around my comfort zone. In addition to that, attending events or global town halls or any sort of a large meeting or a workshop, bringing countries of people together, multiple languages, a single room, everyone uh, collaborating and engaging, which literally is impossible in, in today's world without a platform like Kudo. Well, we're lucky to have that. Yes. Thanks for joining <laughs> us today. Thank you. Five tips, five minutes. Aria Sternberg from Kudo, and that was five tips for a virtual business meeting. Thanks.